Yo, what is up guys? We are back with some Firmsgate. It's been a while. Long, arduous journey. So long, in fact. But honestly, I'm I'm done with this game. Okay, so moral of the story of playing Fernsgate is uh, don't talk about playing Fernsgate. See, we've technically 100% of this game aside from four, maybe five legendary weapons that we do not have yet that you can get with gems in the store. So. We'll be getting those. Uh, there will be a showcase for those. Don't worry about that. That'll be kind of just like a nice little thing we'll have. But for right now, the thing we're going to be doing is outfits. Now, the rules for this are going to be simple. I unequipped all gear. Uh, no rings, no nothing. Uh, we won't be showcasing weapons yet, so I made sure to unequip those so they don't take away from the appeal of the outfits. So... For all of the outfits, though, I'm going to be starting off by showing you two different things. The reason for showing off these two things separate from everything else is it doesn't affect you in battle, so I might as well not show you them in battle. The first is the fluffy suit. It turns you into one of these. Yeah, that, that, that's literally it. Okay, so to get the fluffy suit, by the way, what you have to do in the secret arena, beat Madame Curry. She is the last enemy, uh, the level 800 opponent. I don't remember if you have to beat her once or you have to beat her twice. It's one of the others. But yeah, that's how you get that. Now then, then there's the Madame's wig, which basically enemies uh, don't attack you while you're walking around and you look like uh, Madame Curry's sister. So now that we have those out of the way, we can get to the real outfits. So, for starters, we're going to start everyone off as a butler. Now, these outfits do only affect you in battle. Uh, kind of lame, honestly. I was hoping that, you know, they would affect you outside of battle uh, when you're just walking around. However, that is not the case. So anyway, we have all of our butler outfits on. Yes? Okay. So, what we're going to be doing is three fights with the butler outfits on, just so we can see them. Okay, so, as you can see, everyone's in a nice little suit. Um, the real things that stand out for these characters is, uh, Lita's has a red collar. Uh, what's her name? I want to say it's the little girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, her. She has a, uh, yellow collar. Uh, the black guy with the afro has green, obviously, and our main character has blue. So, yeah, those are the main differences in the outfits. Uh, they're not really all that different. And getting all four outfits, by the way, it's kind of a hassle. It takes like 30 minutes to get a full outfit set in gyms, even if you're doing the best gym farming method, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, but that's for all outfits, sadly. So, yeah. Anyway, though, uh, so next off, we're going to be doing the luxury suit. Uh, now for the luxury suit, I actually don't remember how these looked. Now see, I haven't been playing for a couple of days. So, yeah. I just remembered that I did get all the outfits. I was actually planning on doing uh, weapons and outfits in one stream just to get them all out of the way. However, we're going to be showing off the luxury outfits now. Now, the luxury outfits... Okay, yeah, so it's just basically recolorations of the original outfits. Uh, every character has their own little color type. It's basically just a reversed color pattern of their basic one. In all honesty, I think, if anyone, uh, Lita's actually looks good. Aside from that, the rest don't. So that's just kind of how that works. It's kind of disappointing for that. Um, now we're going to be doing the dark suit. Oh boy. This is basically just if the characters went emo. And no, that, that's not a joke. It's literally just emo. Just imagine the most emo version of the characters you can, and then tone it down a tiny bit. Because they didn't go full emo. Okay, so you got this. And yep, that's what they look like. Main character would have pink hair and be a crossdresser. Uh, <laughs> the nice cripple girl would be a punk rock singer. The little girl would be an albino. And the black guy would have green everything. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. Honestly, he looks like Broccoli. Like we, we should have Broccoli on the team now. Okay. So, those are the dark suits. Now, we're going to be moving on to the... Swimwear. 
Now, there is one more outfit aside from this. However, these are not the only outfits in the game, although it does look like it if you're looking at my outfit section, given that I said that I have all outfits. Uh, the reason for that is they actually come as rings, which is a little bit different. Basically, they add um, little side effects to the characters. So, these are the outfits. Basically, it's, you know, the color pattern of main character gets blue, black guy gets red, and then the other two characters either get a green or a red or yellow tone. So, that's how that works. I'll say I think these outfits are kind of just basic. It's just like they needed fan service, but it wasn't good fan service. <laughs> anyway, so next on we got the sportswear. This is basically just, you know, PE clothes, which I don't even know why they had these as a thing. I think honestly they could have done some really cool outfits if they had wanted to. Like, you know, giving suits of armor and stuff. Instead, they went with the, you know, just meh outfits. So anyway, we going through this. So, these are what they look like. Main character gets a darker shade of blue for his shorts. Uh, Broccoli Boy gets green shorts. Oh boy, that's his nickname now. And then the uh, two girls get red underwear and yellow. So, that's how that works. I honestly don't see how this is sportswear. Because I'm pretty sure those aren't shorts. I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be boxers for the guys. And then that's underwear for the girls, which is really... Kind of questionable because it's sportswear and I don't think you work out. I mean, some people do in underwear, but you know. Okay, so we're gonna also do one uh, fight as the base so that you know what this looks like without the rings. Although, if you've played the game or seen any of the streams, you know what it looks like without the outfits. Main character has a blue and white jacket, uh, Broccoli Boy has a mix of green and red, and then. Uh, I always forget both the girls' names. God dang it. I literally only remember the main characters, Alex. Okay, Lita and Toril. That's how you go. And yeah, so Lita has red, Toril has uh, green. So yeah, those are base outfits. Now then, we're going to be doing the rings next. So for the rings, we're going to be doing one at a time. I could do them all at once. However, the effects, if you do them all at once, kind of, you stand out a bit. And... By a bit, I don't mean a bit. Oh wait, did I miss the ultra ring? I didn't realize I passed it. Yeah, I did. Okay. So we're gonna get an ultra ring on every character real fast. And this will be the first effect. So, yeah, you start shining like you're made of gold. Basically, the Ultra Ring just boosts all your base stats, if I remember correctly. I didn't actually read it, so I can't give you an exact percentage or if that's even what it really does, but we'll check in a second. Because, you know, we're kind of broken OP, because we already broke the game a long time ago. Uh, yeah, all your base stats, basically, are 16% up. So, yeah, that, that's what that does. Anyway, so, next up, aside from the Ultra Ring, is the... By the way, it's whatever has a star on it. So, Ultra Ring's there. Shield Ring, okay. So, the shield ring is next. And the shield ring, I don't think I've equipped this one. I know that there's, like, most of the effects are either for wings or stuff like that, but I don't think I've equipped the shield ring, so... This might be new for me. Okay. Let's see what this looks like, then. Huh. You know, I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. It's literally just, you have a white gate spinning on your back, and also for some reason the little girl's is bigger than everyone else's. I don't know if the main character's is actually the same size, but like, I can tell Toril has a bigger one than Lita and Coden, so that's kind of weird. Okay, well, anyway. Like, she might have had one bigger than the main character's. Okay, so next is an EXP ring. I'm not actually positive if that is next. So I'm going to do a double check the second time through, just to make sure there's Ultra, there's Shield. Okay, okay. So next is EXP, okay, so, yeah. Got this down. One more K. 
character. And for the record being, yes, these do stack and the effects do stack. Like, you can be wearing an outfit and these rings and you can just make your character look like a light show. Oh, okay, so we get, like, little red kind of wings, flames, if you will. I don't even know if that's how you want to describe them. Honestly, in my opinion, it looks like you have a tumor and tentacles coming out, but I think it's meant to be wings. Not positive. Could be horribly wrong. Maybe it is meant to be a tumor. Okay. Tumor and tentacles. Best outfit ever. To now ten. Okay. So. Next up. We have. Okay. Yeah, these ones are close to the end. The repeat ring. Okay. Okay, now just go back then. Okay, and also, for the record being, after we do all of the uh, weapons, we will be doing uh, another RPG game that's turn-based. I don't know what just yet, but I'll probably decide in the next day or two. Okay, so we have golden sashes on our back. That's honestly not that bad. It Like, that that actually isn't that bad. I think it fits more with uh, Toral than anyone else, but, I mean, like, it, it doesn't look bad. It honestly looks okay. Okay, well... Now, did the repeat ring, so what's next? The B attack ring. Now, this game doesn't have a lot of customization, considering we're almost done and we're 11 minutes in. But that being said, it's still decent. Like, this game is really decent. They could have done a lot more, but they did very good for a mobile uh, JRPG. Like, I'm just going to say that now. It's, it's impressive to some extent. Kimco normally makes good games, though. Okay, now, in this we have Heavenly Wings. This is obvious what this is. You a freaking angel now. And I'd say it looks good on the main character and maybe a uh, Lita. Lit uh. It's literally how you spell her name. It's not two Ts, which I think it should be. But, yeah, okay. Anyway, so all that's left is the Leader Ring. And then after this, I am going to show you, uh, like... A combination just at the end so yeah that'll be fun where's the leader ring okay it's right here leader ring leader ring okay well last one and here we go i know what i want my combination to be okay so it is green butterfly wings it's honestly not that bad I want to test the theory of if you have, like, the Ultra Ring, so you're going Super Saiyan, if the wings are covered by it, or if it actually shows those off. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Ultra Ring. Ultra Ring. Okay, so we got that. Now let's also put in the other pair of wings, um, what was it, was it the B attack wings? Is that wings, or was it the repeat ring? I'll say it was B attack. If I'm wrong, then, well, you know what, we're not doing it again. This is the final thing, so, yeah. Okay. Let's hope this is right, or at least looks cool. If it doesn't look cool, well, then, Wasted two minutes, man. So much time. So much of my life down the drain. Oh, actually, let's give him cool outfits, too. So, actually, for the main character, I genuinely do think the butler suit looks good. Like, I, I, I do. Uh, for Coden, I don't know really what outfit I like. I think literally all of his outfits look like jokes to me, so I'm just gonna go with the luxury suit. I'm pretty sure that's Broccoli Boy. I'm not positive. Uh, for Lita, I don't really know. See, because you'd think, well, you'd go with fan service, obviously. But they don't look that good outfit-wise. Like, if anything, she looks best in her, um... Is there a dark suit that flips the colors? And, I mean, that makes her look like a punk rock character. But, I mean, like, hey, I mean, it's, it's cool. It looks decent. And for her, literally, Toro looks good in most outfits. Like, except for, okay, for the swimsuit, the swimsuit just looks ugly. Like, flat out. 
The uh, sportswear looks kind of really just questionable. Oh no, though. Like, none of her outfits look bad. I guess I'd go with the butler, though, because that's just, like, the basic. It looks cool for most characters, except for Godin. Anyway, so yeah, no, the wings are visible. Uh, the green wings are kind of visible, not so much, but the big wings are visible. It's like a backdrop, kind of. And it does look cool. So, yeah. I would not recommend wearing all of this, by the way. None of this stuff is actually that good. Like, literally, the outfits have terrible stats compared to what you could have. Um, the uh, rings themselves aren't really that good. I mean, if you're doing XP farming, you just equip metal rings. So, yeah. But for outfit looks, we have done everything. Now then, for the... Uh, weapons video when we're gonna do a weapon showcase fall weapons the game i actually did already salvage uh an amore weapon which i do not believe you can get from jar breakers i could be wrong so i'm gonna check real quick if you see an amore somewhere in here then that means we can get it if you don't then we can't so yeah that that's the explanation for that which no i do not see one which really really sucks uh yeah well anyway so aside from those though um so we do have some weapons that we do need however we first off need sparkler so that's one uh we need blazing heart two magmatic sword three so that's three weapons we need and we need water swords so that's five wait no that's four i i did my math horribly wrong okay so yeah yeah, yeah we need four we need four there's 600 gems uh, 600 gems takes about 5 minutes to get, or 4 minutes, or 3 minutes, somewhere between there, depending on how fast I cut through cutscenes. So it'll take about 25-ish minutes to get those. That's fine, and then I will be streaming those later. So, yeah, I'll probably either stream those today or tomorrow. Anyway, hope you all have fun watching. We actually did have, like, 5 people who just kind of came in, disappeared. We've still got 2 people here right now, at least. Hold up. Let me check my computer. Yep, okay. So that registers too also. Anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, hope you all had fun watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.